Listen, for the past eight months, I've done nothing but complain about Invisalign. So hopefully after today, I will never talk about it again because my Invisalign journey, it's over, baby. Woo! She made it. I never thought I was gonna make this video, but if you follow me on Instagram, on my Instagram stories, I've been talking a lot about my Invisalign journey. This was my most requested video. So I'm going to give you the 411 on my Invisalign journey. And listen, I've watched other Invisalign journeys and they're not brutally honest. I'm gonna be brutally honest with you. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and never forget to subscribe so you never miss a fit tip with wit again i know there hasn't been a lot of fit tips lately okay i'm going through a funk thank you for your patience i know my upload schedule has been all over the place but my creativity she's just not here okay i don't know where she is she left me i'm on the hunt for her sos 911 where art thou thank you for your patience until she comes back <laughs> all right let's jump in to this video braces never had them i was that girl who was always like yeah i've never had braces and then i was sitting in the dental chair last december and my dentist said listen linda your bottom teeth are chipping like crazy excuse me what what do you mean they're chipping yeah your overbite so bad sister it's chipping away at your bottom teeth and i was like holy heck bob that's not what I wanted to hear today. So there's a few reasons that I got Invisalign. One of them is that my overbite was so bad that it started chipping away at my bottom teeth. When you have that amount of pressure on your bottom front teeth, they start chipping away and start looking like little wood chips. And we were already seeing that happening. I had no idea, but my dentist, he let a girl know. There's always a few things about my teeth that drove me crazy, like my front teeth were never even. I used to have this little fang tooth was she was wonky, okay? She was going crazy. I remember I used to always watch my videos back or while I was editing them, that was all I could focus on was my fang tooth on the bottom. Also, I feel like you're learning a lot about me, but I don't have two molar teeth on the bottom. So we needed to make space so that I can eventually get implants. That's the next step. My dentist said, let's keep your teeth as healthy as possible, as long as possible. And I felt that. I felt that in my heart. I said, scan my teeth, man. Get me some Invisalign. Didn't even think twice about it. And that right there was my biggest regret. Whew. Got a little serious there. <laughs> so I really didn't think twice about it. I got the pricing sheet. I just, I went for it that day. They scanned my teeth. A week later, they called me and I got my Invisalign trays. Now, here's the issue. Is that everybody makes it seem like Invisalign is no big deal. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And they are liars. I'm gonna give you the cold hard press facts here. When you get Invisalign, you have to get attachments on your teeth, okay? I thought I could just pop these suckers in and out. I went to a meet and greet. I went to dinner with my friends. I went here and there. Nobody would know I have Invisalign because I could just take my trays out. Well, that's not the cold hard press facts. The cold hard press facts are that you have to get little buttons placed all over your teeth to snap in and hold your tray in place and help move your teeth around. So you could... <clears throat> Imagine my reaction when all of a sudden I have little clear attachments glued onto every single one of my teeth. Not every single one, but a lot of them. So that was really upsetting to me because I was under the impression that I could pop my tray in and out. Nobody would know I had it if I went to a meet and greet, which I was going to a week after getting my Invisalign in <laughs> in Australia. I get embarrassed very easily. So when I fly out to LA and I see my best friend Nikki and the first thing she says to me is, oh, you got Invisalign. I was mortified, okay? I was mortified that the first thing she noticed was my Invisalign. It's not invisible, okay? It's just, it's not invisible. Invisalign needs to change their name to clear retainer braces, not invisible braces, because that's not what they are. Listen, I'm bitter right now, but it gets better, okay? I got a lot of questions about how much I paid for my Invisalign. Fortunately, when I purchased my Invisalign, I was still on my mom's dental insurance. Thank you, mom. Love you. Love your dental insurance. Thanks for letting me stay on that. Then I got kicked off a month later because, you know, I turned 26. I was very fortunate, and the dental insurance did cover half of the price. So I was quoted $5,000 for Invisalign. <laughs> 
policy insurance covered 2500 which left 2500 on my tab. My dental office set up a payment plan for me, so the payment plan really helps. Your girl's not forking up $2,500 up front for non-invisible braces, okay? A lot of dental offices will offer payment plans because it is so dang expensive. It ain't cheap, but it is cheaper than braces, so I've been told. Maybe I've been lied to. You let me know. <laughs> I get my attachments on, I get my trays. My dentist gave me three to five trays at a time. He wanted to see me every three to five weeks to make sure that all of my teeth were shifting around with these trays. You have to wear your trays 22 hours a day. 22. That means you have two hours of freedom. That's not a lot, it's not a lot. The first two to three trays, so extremely painful. After that, I'll be honest, I felt almost little to no pain. Every week I got a new tray, I would swap mine out every single Thursday night. The first day or two, my teeth were always a little bit sore, but never pain. The first three trays, absolutely horrendous, so painful, I would cry taking them in and out. After that, easy breezy lemon squeezy, a little sore here and there, but that was it. I think what I struggled the most with when it came to Invisalign is you have to take your trays out to eat and to drink. I'll be honest though, I never took it out to drink, okay? That's a bit much for me. I can't be taking my tray out every time I have a monster. So you have to take your trays out to eat and I absolutely hated putting my tray back in without brushing my teeth. So you get into the habit of brushing your teeth 1200 times a day. It kept me from snacking a lot, which I hated because I'm a snacker as you guys know. When it comes down to it, it's inconvenient and it's so easy to take your trays out eat lunch and completely forget to put them in and then listen girl you're screwed you paid twenty five hundred dollars you have to wear those trays i'm not letting that money go to waste i ate i brushed my teeth i put the trays back in worst comes to worst i'm out and about i don't have time to brush my teeth i do a quick little <laughs> mouthwash situation spit the mouthwash out pop my trays in I hated it, but you gotta do what you gotta do. If you do not wear your trays enough, your teeth will not shift and move with those trays, and then you have to get refinements. Now, refinements is where they have to rescan your teeth and get you all new trays, and I was not about that. So, at about the 15 tray mark, my most difficult teeth movements were from 10 to 20 trays, and in between there, I had a one tooth, this little guy right here. See that? This little sucker. She was not wanting to move, okay? She was not aligning up with my Invisalign. My dentist, oh, the greatest great guy, Dr. Skinner. I have no fear of the dentist anymore. He's not paying me to say this either, okay? I paid all of this for myself. I gotta get a new camera battery. She's dying. So Dr. Skinner, he basically threatened me. He said, listen, Linda, if you come in here next week and this tooth isn't tracking, we're gonna have to do refinements, which means more trays. I don't wanna do that to you. And so, that scared the living daylights out of me. I was messing around, not putting my tray back in. I'd remember that I need to put my tray back in a few hours later. And that right there, that's what I needed to remember the importance of wearing my Invisalign. <laughs> it is quite the commitment if you are going to get Invisalign, girl you gotta commit i was very fortunate because this tooth she decided to finally track i did not have to get new trays or refinements my 30 trays that i got in the beginning are the 30 trays that i got after my 30 days peace love and blessings i was out I've complained about Invisalign nonstop. I find it very tedious. I find it very inconvenient. I absolutely hate it. My first 10 trays, I wanted to quit. I would cry to Stefan all the time. I wanted nothing to do with Invisalign. So if you're going through that situation, please just push on. It gets better. By the 15th tray, I was like, I was liking how my teeth were looking. I was like, okay, maybe this isn't that bad. People do notice them a lot. I get a lot of questions when I have my trays in. Over the last eight months, I never was able to properly talk with them in. I always had a list. And if I got through the list, which eventually I did, I would just stutter a lot. Your mouth feels so like full. Just feels like there's not enough room for your tongue to move and talk properly. So I did stutter a ton. I finished my 30 trays. I went in on that last day of that tray and I said take these attachments off me Dr. Skinner I'm done 
I was very fortunate. I know a lot of people get a lot more than 30 trays. Ashley Barron did Invisalign for over a year. I think she ended up being a year and a half. She did have refinements. And I know I could not last that long. So I went in on Thursday. They drilled off all of those attachments. And then we went in and we started refining my teeth a little bit. It's actually funny because now that I look at my before photo, I'm like, oh, actually my teeth were um, not as good as I thought they were. <laughs> I am over the moon so happy with my teeth now. Maybe now I'll start smiling with my teeth showing again. You know, I was doing one of these for the last eight months. <laughs> I still had not whitened my teeth at all. I did have to switch to a Sensodyne toothpaste while I was using Invisalign because there were some parts of my teeth that were so sensitive to the point that I was worried that I had a cavity. But usually by the next tray, that sensitivity went away. I've been using Sensodyne for the last few months. I still have not whitened my teeth. My dentist did give me a teeth whitener though. I just haven't used it yet. Hold on one second, one momento. So I was too scared to whiten my teeth while I had my Invisalign in because my teeth were so sensitive, but I did pick this up from my dental office. It's 10 trays, opalescence go. Packets like this, you pop the trays in, suck them onto your teeth and then pull the green bit out. I have not used these yet. I wanted to give my teeth a few days to not be so sensitive because we did a little bit of refinement after we took off the attachments. My two front teeth were still just a little bit, just a little bit uneven. So Dr. Skinner went in and just filed down one of these. I think it was this one, not this one. Yeah, that's fun. He filed that down, rounded it out a little bit. He went in on my fang tooth here. She's still a little fangy, but he did go ahead and even out those little bits that were already chipping from when I had my overbite. Would I do Invisalign again? Absolutely. No way in heck and bob. Am I glad I did it? <sighs> yes. It was really difficult for me. I cried a lot about it. I thought about quitting. I really did, but I persevered and I continued on and I'm glad I did. Okay, I did a little Q&A yesterday about what questions you have on Invisalign on my IG story. I'm gonna go through it. Can it fix teeth that are too high up? Yes, for myself, it pulled a lot of my front teeth down. So that's why this tooth was not at tracking for so long is because it was having a really hard time coming down and being even these two teeth next to my front two teeth were a lot higher and now these are pretty stinking even. Is there anything after Invisalign like retainers? For myself, I'm just doing the nightly retainers. Gotta put them in every night. When you spend your hard earned money to fix your teeth, you're not gonna forget to put your trays in. That's what I'm realizing. Has it helped in a major way with your overbite? So my top teeth no longer put any pressure on my bottom teeth. So I can feel just a little bit of a gap between my front teeth and my bottom teeth when I'm resting. So it did help my overbite a lot. I still have a little, you know, my front teeth still sit over my bottom teeth, but I no longer have the pressure of my top teeth chipping away at my lower teeth. Can you drink things like smoothies while having Invisalign in? For myself, I couldn't, especially because I have these two little gaps right here. My two little molars missing, a lot of food would easily get trapped in there and then just like make its way through. Having food it's stuck in your Invisalign, it's just, it's not a good look. So smoothies, no, I drink clear liquids all the time or I'll drink my little Alani energy drinks just fine. I know you're not supposed to, but I did. Did you have difficulty or pain when removing the aligners for the first two to three days? Yes, it is so extremely painful to get them on and off. A tip that I have is starting at the back corner. So like pull that side off, this back corner, pull that side off and then just pull them down. Once I figured that out, it helped me a lot. Worth it or not, can you tell a big difference before and after? Now that I've seen the before and after, yes. Throughout the process, no. But it was kind of fun, you know? I never looked at my before photos because I didn't have them, my dentist did. And then once I saw them in the office the other day, I was like, that's what my teeth look like before. Are they uncomfortable? Once they're in, no. I mean, it feels like there's a lot going on in your mouth, but once they're in, you get so used to having them in your mouth, it feels more weird when you don't have them in. If I would ever forget, I'd be laying in bed, I'd be like, <gasps> I forgot to put my Invisalign in. No. Was it difficult to have lipstick on while wearing your trays? Yes, I would not wear any sort of lipstick when I had my trays in. Lip gloss, that's fine. A clear, nude, light pink lip gloss, I would get down with that, but because I had the attachments on my fangs and these teeth, right here, lip gloss would get stuck, like just smiling, like 
lip gloss would get all over that bad boy. So I just got in the habit of not wearing any lipstick, liquid lipstick, nothing when I had my Invisalign in. I don't know how I didn't mention this. One thing I did love about having my trays in is they push your lips out so far, girl. I was getting questions if I got my lips done. And I was like, me? No, just have my Invisalign in. <laughs> Did you ever have any problems with them staining? Yes, if I ever tried to drink liquids that had color to them or eat food with them, they would always stain yellow. So if you want your retainers to stay clean and clear, just, just take them out before you eat. All right guys, hopefully after this video, I will never have to talk about Invisalign again. I'm super happy with the results. It is a commitment, I'm just telling you now. Listen, I know that this video was probably a little bit Debbie Downer. Am I happy with the results? Absolutely. If you really wanna fix your teeth and you do not wanna have braces, then I absolutely recommend Invisalign. But it is a commitment, it is tedious, you're gonna to have to snack a lot less, which was very hard for me. <laughs> if you have any other questions, feel free to leave them below. I'll be down here all day responding. I love y'all so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. And until next time, we will see you next time.